On our 300 series spars, we have a permashield base. Now some spar manufacturers don't have a base on their spar, they just have the wooden frame. But we add a semi-rigid PVC layer to the bottom of the spar that prevents moisture coming up from underneath and also adds an extra insulation layer. Our 300 series spars use an industry standard pressure treated wood frame. Filtration is an important part to any spar. Vita Spars 3 and 500 series utilise a fully programmable filtration system. This filters 66 gallons a minute and can be varied if you're a high user or low user. We can also fit ozone as an optional and extra, which is nature's natural sanitizer. Okay, so let's talk about stereo systems. The 500 series has a built-in MP3 connection along with integrated shell speakers on each side of the tub, which are also obviously waterproof. With any modern smartphone, you can even utilize digital radio into the MP3 connection as well, which again is an added bonus. So if you didn't want to constantly just listen to music upon music, then you could just listen to your favorite radio show. In all of our 500 and 700 series tubs, we have a subwoofer built in which gives you that extra bass driven sound. So if you love your music, then you'll love this. All our 500 and 700 series spars have this pan base. It's a very tough and durable ABS base to protect the spar from the elements below. Some manufacturers just have a plain wood base. Well, we've gone that extra mile to give something much more durable that's gonna last for many, many years. On our 500 and 700 series spars, we actually use a galvanised steel frame. Now a lot of spar manufacturers are still using wood frames, and we still on our 300 series, and that's quite common, and they're fine. But on our 500 and 700 series spars, we've gone for the galvanised steel frame, which is much better. And here's some interesting facts. They're 250% stronger than wood, but 40% lighter than wood. Now they're so amazing those facts, I'm going to repeat them. 250% stronger and 40% lighter. Now that's quality. That is built to last. This model is one of our 700 series. And in all of our 700 series you'll find a Sony Marine Stereo. Again with a subwoofer built in and speakers which turn 360 degrees and pop up and down. Which is a fantastic feature of this spa. Vita's 700 series has a water management system as standard known as Biozone. Filtering 50,000 gallons a day, Biozone is wildly recognised as one of the industry's best systems. Biozone is made up of four key elements. First, our circulation pump. Energy efficient and filtering 35 gallons a minute, 24 hours a day. Combined with the filtration, we have a Nature 2 cartridge with natural minerals and silver ions. Finally, we introduce ozone, nature's natural sanitizer, helping to purify the water even more. If you want the ultimate in water management, we can combine with our biozone, UV. Our UV sanitizing system is the same expensive system used on koi fish ponds. Combined with our Biozone water management system, we still offer a fully programmable filtration cycle. We can program the cycle from any minute of the day for any duration. So let's talk about insulation. Now insulation is probably one of the most important features when buying a spa. But it didn't used to be. The manufacturers 10, 15 years ago weren't that bothered about it. It wasn't a big deal. But of course now with the rising cost of electric, it's become a key feature when we develop a new model or new spa. Now we at Vita Spas really pride ourselves on our insulation. It's probably one of the best in the industry. Up until recently, us and many other manufacturers used to use a method of foam filling the spa. Now foam filling is a method that has been used for many, many years. And basically what we do is foam fill the whole spa to keep the heat locked in. But of course there's a problem. You couldn't foam the whole of the spa. This area here where the pumps are needed to be left free of foam. The problem was that if the pumps overheated, they would fail. So this area of the spa was left free of foam and you'd only foam three quarters of the spa. And then what they'd do is they'd put air vents at the front of the spa here to ventilate this area here where the pumps are. 
The problem then is the fact that you're letting this heat out. Well, that seems a bit of a shame to have all this wonderful heat that pumps generate quite naturally and to let it out of the spa. So we don't use that method anymore. We use a new method called heat lock. And with heat lock, we trap the heat in the spa with a hot air gap. Now this hot air gap surrounds the complete spa, including the area where the pumps are. So any heat generated from the pumps, which is quite natural, is in that same hot air gap. And the only way that heat can go is back into the spa water. So we don't have any air vents on the side of the spa and that heat is locked in, it's trapped in, it can't go anywhere else but back into the spa water. All Vita spas come with a filter cartridge system, filtering out grass, debris, leaves, etc. Our 2012 models all come with a brand new pillow. And it's made from the same material as used in the famous brand Crocs and is very, very durable. Okay, so this is the cabinet of the spa and it's made by a material called Duramax. It's a very strong, very durable synthetic material. So it looks like wood, but it's not wood. Now some spa manufacturers use wood for their cabinets and we used to, but there's a problem with wood. The problem with wood is you've got to look after it. You've got to maintain it. Every year you've got to sand it down, stain it, varnish it, paint it, whatever. The trouble is, is that does that always happen? Do you remember to do it? After a couple of years with a wood cabinet, it's very often looking pretty shabby, but not with a Vita Spa. This material is very durable and it'll look the same for many, many years to come. It won't crack, it won't peel, and it won't fade. And here's another interesting point. It's the same color all the way through. So if I accidentally dinked it with a spade by mistake or something, it's not a problem, it's the same color all the way through. All our Vita Spa shells are made from acrylic, which is pretty much an industry standard. Everybody uses it. So why are Vita Spas any different? Well, all our shells are made with acrylic that's backed with fiberglass, which is extra thick and very durable. In fact, our shells are self-supporting, which is exceptionally strong. So here's how we achieve heat lock. Firstly, we use this material here called Bluemax. And Bluemax is an interesting material. It's made from recycled fibers, which is quite nice. But it's also used over in America with their household building with cavity wall insulation. Unlike us here in Britain, which are still using the old spray foam. Bluemax is a great material to work with. It doesn't deteriorate, it won't flake, it's fire retardant, and it's also got a material in it called Borax. Now, Borax is anti-rodent. Now, don't worry, it's not gonna kill any little mouses or anything but they just don't like it. They don't want to go anywhere near it. The other great feature of Bluemax is a reflective panel on this side, and this reflects the heat back into the spa, which is where we want it. One of the most important features is the fact that we can take the material out, like I'm doing now, we can access all the pipe work, etc., and the pumps, but when we're finished, we can just put it straight back in, and it's as good as new. Now, with an old foam-filled spa, you couldn't do that because as soon as you take the panel off and all this is foam, well, what are you gonna do? You've gotta dig the foam out. Well, where do you dig? You don't just dig the area where they've got the problem because you can't get to it to know that's there. So what you have to do is dig this massive area out. Now, whilst you're digging that foam out, it's all in pieces on the floor making a right mess. Okay, so you've dug the area out, you've done your repair. How do I put the foam back in? Well, I can't put all these little pieces back in, so I'll have to try and spray foam it back in. Well, trust me, I've done it. You make a right mess of it, and it's never the same. Not with a Vita Spa. I can take the insulation out, I can work, I can put the insulation back in, and it's as good as new. This is what we call appliance grade. We can take the spa completely apart, work on it, and put it back together again to the same condition as it comes out of the factory. And that's a Vita Spa.